kweli tuko zile nyakati za mwisho mwisho watu wangu we yani some things are so so unbelievable yani huwezi yamini ati kuna huyu mwanamke wa Kiambu anaitwa Njeri uh, Emily Emily Njeri so inasemekana kuwa anakulana na mtoto wake azini yani ameoa mtoto wake na amesema kuwa yeye haezi taka kuona mwanamke mwingine akienjoy fruit of her womb imagine who does that guys who does that ma tumefika saa hizi ai kwani tuko wapi cause yani squeeze i think dunia haina huruma imagine una unabeba mibaya mtoto wako okay hata hatuwezi sema ni kubeba unaenda una unadinywa unapata mimba unabeba miezi tisa unalea mtoto wako ukimuona akiwa mdogo unamvarisha pampas unamtoa makamasi unamrize wewe kama mamake mtu mwenye uko na huruma na mtoto wako unamlaze hmm? unamchukua na mpeleka shule at least huyu mtoto akuwe intelligent hmm? alafu unachukua huyu mtoto unaanza kumtamani yani kumtamani kimwili kumtamani ulale na ye wab na ye sex Sijui mahali tuko saa hizi dunia inaelekea wapi. Hmm? I don't think it's it's the same uh, again cause you know kama ni kitambo I think kama ni zile acha sasa hii hizi enzenye tuko saa hizi. This time no one cares. Hata uh, kama mtu anafanya kitu kama hii. Okay. Tutakuja tutaiongelelea and hiyo uh, itaishi hapo. But I think kama ni kitambo ule mama size hange kuwa. Okay, kwanza especially kwa wakikuyu. Unasikia anaitwa Njeri. Kwa wakikuyu. Huyu mama angeshikwa. Aekwe kwa ile nini ya nyuki inaitwa aje? Beehive. Aekwe kwa hiyo kitu ya nyuki. Aekwe huko ndani kama iko na nyuki. Alafu yeko pale kwa mlima juu. Mm? Arafu wa iskume, itele muke mpaka chini. Uwa mama akifika chini, haizi kuwa uhai. Atakuwa kwanza hizo nyuki zime munini, zime mbite. Alafu akifika kule chini, akue hayuko tena. Kwa ziono, hiyo ni kitu mbaya sana. Yani ni kitu ata ikona rana. Sijui waze wakikuyu wariendanga wapi. Sijui wa mama wakikuyu kuyu wale wa ukweli warienda wapi and uh, guys i'm so so sad kuangalia comment section vyenye watu wana akizo wa kikuyu guys kusema nini mtu mmoja amefanya kitu si kama mtu mmoja ame, ameiba si watu wote wameiba hata hmm? kama tuseme e, e, ni viazi moja moja imeoza kwa gunia si viazi zote zimeoza ni moja na hiyo moja tu ndio inafaa inatolewa inatupwa ndio hizo vya zingine zinaendelea kukaa zikiwa poa na zikiwa fresh mm? saa hizi naona watu wakisema eh wakikui wanakuanga wana hivyo wakikui wanakuanga hivyo wapi akina nani cause mimi ni mkikuyu na siezi entertain ujinga kama huyo huyo mama hata angekuwa hapa naweza mtandika naweza chukua nyahunyo ni mchape ni mcharaze ha na nimwambie she is cast cuz huyo mwanamke amelaaniwa hakuna venye unaweza tolea mtoto wako nguo na ni mtoto wa kiume kwanza aone kinembe yako it's very very wrong it's very very wrong hmm? ni rana kubwa sana na huyo mwanamke hata haezi ishi eh haezi ishi huyo nakwambia Mungu atammariza Cause you know ile ni kitu mbaya sana. Hmm? Hey, imagine mmari mtoto wako alitokea kichwa yake ilipita pale. Alafu tena anakuja kuingiza hiyo kasu yake hapo kwako. Huyu mwanamke ni mwanamke mwana mwenye kumbavu sana. Mwanamke mwenye anafaa aekwe hapa na wana na wana wake wengine acharazwe. Sijui huyu mwanamke anakaa wapi. Hmm? Guys even it's it's unbelievable it's unbelievable hii ni kitu yenye hata wewe kuamini ni ngumu cuz hata mimi mwenyewe kuiamini ni ngumu how on earth hmm? mama atachukua mtoto okay hizi story ni kuangana zisikia um 
kuna time nilikuwa kule Uarabu tena niseme hivyo kuna time nilikuwa nafanya kazi kule Uarabu and I used to hear wale wa mama wa kule you know most of the time huwa wanalala na watoto wao a uh, <coughs> wanakuwa in love but guys nilikuja kufikiria like uh, ni sisi tulikuwa tunachukulia hivyo kama ni watu wengine huwa alikuwa anachukulia hivyo cause um, Marie nilikuwa nimeajiliwa that boss uh, she used to sleep in her son's room cause walikuwa wamekosana na mwanake so alikuwa anga analala kwa bedroom ya mtoto wake kijana and hiyo uh, kitu ikaniweka na wasiwasi so unajua sisi Ah uh, huko kwetu Kenya. Mtoto akifikisha kiwango fulani huwa anatoka kwa kwa mamake. Lakini siku hizi naona wengine tu wanakaa. Mtu anaenda anatahiri na bado anaendelea kukaa na mamake. So kikwetu mi mari nimetoka Kiambu, uh, mtoto wa kijana akitahiri huwa anatoka kwa nyumba ya mamake. That means akiwa like 14 years hivi. 13 to 14 years anatoka kwa nyumba ya mamake, anaanza kujikarisha. So uh, kule unapata kijana ni kijana kwa 25 30 na bado analala the same same bed na mama especially unapata huo mtoto analala kwa kitanda kitanda hata ya mama yake anaweza toka huko akuja rare hapo na umpate amelala hapo kwa kitanda and you know that is the culture but but mimi venye nilikaa nilikuja kufikilia ni culture yao like okay they don't fear Uh, like si kama sisi ukiona mtu atio wako kwa kitanda ya babake wako kwa kitanda ya mamake you know culture yao iko hivyo <coughs> and uh, those people i think they have respect towards each other but sisi venye tulikuwa tunaona they are so so close tulikuwa tunafikiria otherwise so hata hii mimi siwezi taka um, okay naweza fikiria maybe hawa nini maybe Um, ni watu walichukulia maybe waliona picha wakachukulia yani sitaki kuimagine ni ukweli cause guys kama ni ukweli guys inaweza kuwa ni mbaya inaweza kuwa ni mbaya sana hmm? it's something that is so so unbelievable something that is not even acceptable hmm? in the community <coughs> so guys uh, it's sad uh, guys kwanza acheni let's pray for our country kosa hizi mambo yenye nafanyika in this country ni mambo yenye iko so so unbelievable ni mambo yenye iko against Mungu ni mambo yenye ina yani wewe hata wewe mwenyewe ukikaa unafikiria people are not normal anymore mm. ni mambo inastua so guys let's pray for our country uh, may god have mercy on us may god um, forgive us cause yani sisi tumefanya dhambi kubwa sana Mungu atusamehe na asiachilie kadhabu yake itufikie cause ikitufikia e country it will never be the same again guys always remember Kenya in Kenya we are blessed mm? tusiache Mungu akuje kukasirika na sisi let me tell you this nation this nation kama uwai toka huko nje ya nje alafu ukarudi ndio unajuanga how blessed we are mm? na kwambia tumebarikiwa tumebarikiwa inchi ko green all river ukienda kila mahali Kenya ni green ukienda kila mahali Kenya we are blessed with weather chani niwaambie kuna mahali kuna snow yani watu wanakaa hawana amani kuna mahali kuna jua jua kali yani ni kama imetelemka yani hiyo jua ikikupigata mchana huwezi enda kufanya kazi wale watu wanafanyanga kazi usiku hmm? na hiyo usiku hata ukienda kufanya kazi yani watu wana sweat wana sweat So Kenya we are so so blessed especially in terms of weather hmm? in terms of peace so acheni tuombe Mungu cause hizi mambo dogo dogo mnaona hapa zinaweza fanya Mungu akuje ku, you know kutuadhibu vibaya sana so guys mimi nawapenda sana and uh, see you in the next video <coughs> let's pray for our country kindly subscribe share my videos so i can comment na wapenda sana and thank you so much for the love for the support na mahali tumefika na wapenda watu wangu bye bye